What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Rhymes out here and today we're talking about DLC Pack 4 for Dragon Ball Zeros 2 and Dimps is going out with a bang. I don't know what else they're planning for in the future as far as DLC for this game after the release of Pack 4, but what they're giving us in a free update as well as a paid update for this DLC release is absolutely incredible. First and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to the homie Ken Syro for translations. If you want to follow him on Twitter, I will link it in the description below. Go say hello, because he's awesome. So, DLC 4. Let's kind of quickly summarize the paid part and I'll get into the goodies. So, DLC 4, the paid content consists of Merge the Master and Super Saiyan Vegito, as you guys already know this. Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegito, I should say. You get a new story expansion, the Warrior of Hope arc. You get a new stage, the Mouse Future. Three new parallel quests, five new moves, two costumes, and five super souls. Nothing too new right there. We already talked about that a couple weeks ago. You already know it's part of it. If you want to see what that actual video breaks down, I'll probably have something in the description if I remember to link it. But the free update, this is the one that has me a little bit more excited now because there's a lot of cool stuff being included. We're getting a great ape costume. I don't know exactly how this works, but the way it works is we got a helmet and tail. We got a individual Saiyan tail that we can equip, so you're not going to be limited to just wearing the Super Saiyan 4 costume that's part of the pants. You're getting the Yajirobe outfit, you're getting the Majin Mark! The Majin Mark, we're getting the Majin logo for our characters. Unfortunately, for some reason they're only limiting to Earthlings. I don't know why they decided to do that, because you can put that stamp literally on any character. I mean, we've seen in a series that they had, you know, Majins pretty much anywhere. And you know, I'm gonna actually try, try to reach out to see if they can change that last minute because there's no reason why the Majin Mark should be limited to only Earthlings. But we're getting the Majin Mark, that's exciting! We're getting four new variations for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Future Trunks, and Kin Trunks. Now, I assume for Future Trunks, it's just going to consist of the Hope Slash Attack as well as Super Saiyan Rage. I don't have the full move list, but that's what I assume that that's for. Kin Trunks is an odd one, I didn't expect that one, but once again, I assume they're going to give him the outfit that he probably had when he was, you know, in the Future Trunks arc interacting with his future self. And of course, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta, they seem to be finally getting their original outfits. So the Saiyan armor for Vegeta and the Goku Gi for Goku. And finally, you're getting two new raids, which I believe is going to be Bojack and something else, and, and five new attacks. I don't know what the five new attacks are, but I assume it's going to be something to do with the DLC releases. Because I know part of the paid DLC is Amasu is going to be a mentor, I assume, and that's where you get his attacks. And as far as everything else, such as the Hope Slash and things like that, that's going to be included part of the, um, the free update. Again, when I get the full breakdown what the attacks actually are, if I get that, I'll talk about it in another video. But this is everything you're going to get in DLC Pack 4. What do you guys think? This is amazing, because I mean, we're getting the Super Saiyan 4 costume, which I assume is part of the paid DLC. We're getting the Great Ape costume, which is kind of a weird one, but the big one is the Majin Mark. We're getting the Majin logo, and we're getting the Super Saiyan 4 costume all in the same release. I'm really excited about that. The only thing is, is like I said, Earthlings is kind of weird. Only limit that to Earthlings. I, I don't know why they went with that. I don't know if it has something to do with... No, it shouldn't have anything to do with other variations and designs, so it's kind of a weird one. So I'm going to... See if I can push something through for that before they release this. If not, I'm sorry. You know, it's their decision at the end of the day. But at least we're getting the Majin logos. I'm excited about that. So in the comment section below, let me ask you guys a question. Which are you more hyped about? The Majin logo for your characters or the Super Saiyan 4 costume? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyways, don't forget, next week will be the live stream that's going to show off all the DLC 4 content for the free update and the paid update. I'll also have some exclusive gameplay on the channel as well, so just stay tuned for that. I know it's kind of weird, like... Dragon Ball Fighters was released and overshadowed DLC 4 completely, but seeing this has me super excited again. Majin Mark, man. I even wanted the Majin logo for so long. It's just weird that they went with the Earthling only race, so I hope that we can change that, you know, change their mind before they release this. But if not, I guess we're all gonna be making Earthlings. <laughs> we're all gonna be making our Majin Earthlings that we're gonna release, you know, into the Kantan City world and the fights against people online. But yeah. Anyway, so that's everything. Once I get more information, I will let you guys know what everything is and what to expect. Uh, expect some DLC content as well over the course of the next couple of days and all that good stuff. So let me know your thoughts. Are you excited or not excited? Leave a like if you can't wait or I guess don't. It's up to you. And enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Ryan Style. I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.